here we are another day on our journey so you can kind of see what I have been doing um, I have put on the back I have incorporated the violin um, let's see if I can clean some of this idea this idea seed off of the uh, See, this is this is idea stuff, you know, because I I don't know what I'm what, what it's we don't know what it's going to be. So we've got all this stuff in here to to play with that is little little seeds of ideas because as we progress through life, we have we have things that give us ideas on how to prosper and become one with who we are. Now you can see all this idea junk that I've got here on the table in front of me. I should probably have done this before. So you can kind of see where we're going. Um, see that in the front here we've got, I have worked in a ladle which um, serves with a, with a twist and full maneuverability here. Um, I do have to tighten that up a little bit more. Maybe I can add something. I've got that much space to uh, add something here. Don't know what it will be, if anything. But for right now, it's nice just being able to... See, this right here uh, seems to be holding it nicely. Um, <clears throat> I do have... An attachment point here I do have an attachment point here and I don't know what exactly I'm going to do yet I, I'm not sure if I'm if I'm digging these clippers that I've got here I might take those out and replace them with something else that I think will blend in nicely with the use of the ladle because we are trying to incorporate um, we are trying to incorporate a marriage of materials but in idea form so we are trying to merge the idea of the concept of what we're building here because we we have to make it conform into one centralized point of thought right we have to incorporate the good parts of the thought and the bad parts of the thought and make it to where there are no end pieces left right so if we can attach something we're going to attach an end piece or we're going to attach an end piece because something has to be attached to every thing that is in the sculpture and it's going to be hard to do all that stuff you know so <clears throat> I've got so many ideas here that I guess the first one is to take off this idea that I have here well I guess I should show you where I'm at here um, I gotta take this off the table over here all this idea seed that I have lying around ok 
Okay. Now here's what I have so far in the front. I have this hinge mobility here. Um, I have attached. I'm trying to show you everything before I start doing stuff. It's kind of hard to do. I have attached um, his hand here. Um, as you can see. So I have his hand here and I I've got plenty of these forks so I can I can change this fork out into something else because well I needed to anneal it before I went ahead and bent it um, and I didn't anneal it so I bent it as it was still cold and frosty and it snapped and bent and didn't what it wasn't very malleable so what I have up here is I have like a little set of claws So I have the fork bent into, this came from out of a projection TV, um, <clears throat> I thought it was kind of cool so I slapped it in there. It helps form uh, the arm, uh, gives it a little bit more complexity. I still have room to attach stuff down here. If I if I choose to and I think I might because I've still got to tie up this end down here I have to tie this end here let me see I've got this is an end point here which means nothing can be attached to it but there is one hole that's available down here. So I have to attach something to swivel on down here and that will finish up the arm. And I could make it so it's kind of attached here so this would make this one unit with some flexing. I could probably blend in the copper wire with this here. And it would be like he would be playing a musical instrument as well. Because he got what looks like little hands right here. And so I could attach something here. It could be a bolt or I think you that. That fits right on that end. How sweet is that, huh? All right, so we've got a deer thing going on down here. I wish I had a worm deer to throw out of that without well, repulsing. Get that situation here, so. We don't have to be stuck on that idea. Um, it's something to take into mind. Something to mount here, whether it's another mount plate, which would be. Um, strong it would be a piece that would be easy to replace because it's basically just a long bolt um, although the little swing arm here is has two points of attachment so we have the bolt through here which relieves some of the stress here with the bolt and the action and the pivot and the other piece is would be a hard piece to find would be um, the rotating arm that's, that uh, this is, you know, 
breaking it down you would be able to use it for another piece um, although it would take some take some work it would be could be kind of cool and decorative um, we still do have a little bit of an, a pin end here because that's firmly on the wood which is nice <clears throat> I did put a pair of opera glasses up here um, I don't know they, they, they do kind of move back and forth and they do kind of move up and down so that could give some emotional value to the piece um, looking up could be playing music for you you know type uh, little robot playing music for you um, so it has that certain aspect of looking up um, which allows for I can see I've got a swivel down here that if I could blend these two pieces together into one it would make it seem like one big arm so um, that's very cool um, so we could make this one big variable arm that's fully can be fully motioned and that gives it a whole nother value because if you're looking at it from any point I could make this into a face but once again we are relying on the strength of this piece right here we don't want to add too much weight <sighs> So the way to fix that would be to branch off of this with something that could hold on to no transition all the energy to this piece here, which is already holding up a lot. Um, if we could break it down to where um, let's see if we want to maintain that emotional ability here um, right now all he has is these copper whiskers here that are holding the uh, the violin and making it kind of play as you can hear um, so now we have to bring let's see that's going to be a problem those whiskers will be plucking away at this horse hair on this on the strand here um, so we can we can let that piece subside as well okay we don't have to concentrate too much on that now we have now we have content, content on what we can do with this here okay because if we we're transitioning we're transitioning a an angle at which we're looking at it okay so so we're looking at these angles back here okay so here's what we're looking at now here's what we have to work with 
okay so we have we have this part here to work with the eyes the angle okay so we have the angle coming down looking down to here okay that changes the focus from if you're looking if you're looking at it from here you also have to see a piece of art right so no matter where you transition your piece you want it to be able to see something different depending on which angle that you see it from So when we get over on this end, we're pretty much covered with the exception of his arm here, which I have an idea for, and that was the original intent of starting this video. Now, I do have this little bucket that was, uh, I guess it's a whole wax for underneath uh, one of those cheese trays, uh, fondue pot. Well, I got some ends that I cut off of a uh, radiator, and they look like macaroni, right? So I figured that I could, at the whatever place that I had this guy set up at, you could have this little pot of macaroni, right, would be a good end point to finish off, or a good accessory to add to, um, just figure out how to attach it past this copper wire here. I don't like to bend copper wire too much. I don't like to let it just like come up natural. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that looks natural to anybody though. <laughs> All right, so here's what we have. We have a flat going into a round, okay? So we can go like this and have kind of a natural fit, right? Now we have to cinch it down with something here. And I don't know what we can do to cinch it down other than have another round. No, I won't worry too much stress on that. So if we have it back here, we still have something we can slide in there to help hold it all together and maybe add for another something or other in there. Whatever will fit, will fit. Um, Okay, so we're looking for, and this is a right-handed thread, so there's something unique about that that's going to be very hard to find a, a, something to go on there other than an actual hose of some sort that I don't have. So right now we're just looking to see if there's anything that I have that will, that will work, that will help, you know, I mean, that'll help kill that end as an idea, maybe. See, because I've got this, this use here, so I've got this find something for that use. It can't be sloppy in there. And I could tie it down back in here and then put copper wire in there. I could put copper wire in and around where it kind of flames. Okay. So I got too many cool things on my desk over here. First, let's see if it'll fit, right? If it won't fit, then it won't work. Then it's got to have something to pinch it together. See, and I, you know, and I've got this duality of concept over here, right? I've got two of these things, right? So what can I do that's in between two, two things? What can I do? I mean, I've got to have two of something that forms into one single object. fits in there. Oh, good Lord, no, don't tell me it does. That, that was close. I 
I don't know, I've got to attach this. This is the original idea that I had. It just finishes off the focal point, right? We have to finish off the focal point of where he's at. Well, what's he doing? Well, he's surfing new pasta, okay? So, we have to finish this connection point here. And I can't think of a better way to do it than with wire for right now, you know? Um, I've got two points I can shoot in from here to provide for stability. So, I can shoot in with this wire here, right? That adds filling. wires in there the same at the same angle with these right we can't be forcing it we're all any contorted things like i was just trying to do wow wait how crazy huh so the problem lied with getting these in here at a decent distance right like you're trying to force a couple sticks down a monkey's throat right right here and you're trying to slip this in there too Alright, so we have a size mobility here. There's a coil of wire. Let's be slightly over just like that. Wire in the coil. Kind of lame screws in there and probably one with some fiber wire. To make a cup of sleep. 